It's been my dream for years, an ultra-thin, light laptop I could carry anywhere, yet transform into a gaming powerhouse just by plugging it in. That's the idea behind the $500. 500 pounds are roughly a U640 Razer Core, a black aluminum box that can add the power of a full desktop graphics card to the compatible laptop of your choice. Using a single USB-C Thunderbolt 3 cable, it also adds four USB ports, a wired Ethernet jack, and can charge a Razer Blade Stealth laptop all at the same time. Razer Blade Stealth 01.jpg We first saw the Razer Core and Razer Blade Stealth at CES 2016. Sean Hollister CNET But when the Razer Core first arrived in 2016, it didn't get a lot of traction. While reviews showed the basic concept worked pretty well, some users complained that non-Razer laptops weren't compatible, and others that the extra USB ports weren't reliable enough to use. With the new Razer Core V2, the company is trying to solve at least one of those issues. The new box adds a second Thunderbolt 3 controller, so that the GPU and the extra ports each have their own dedicated PCI Express lanes, likely meaning no dropped USB connections and more consistent bandwidth for the GPU. Plus, Razer's Travis first tells us the redesigned chassis should fake it practically any video card on the market. It's roughly half an inch taller inside now, a move first says, was made to accommodate oversized graphics cards that don't technically meet the PSI standard. Now, if your GPU is under 5.71 inches tall by 1.69 inches wide x 11.81 inches long, it should fit. First says there's also a special new GPU release lever near the power supply, so you can quickly swap in another GPU without it pinching your fingers or poking around with tools. What about compatible laptops? While Razer technically only certifies its own machines will work with Razer Core, you'll need to ask your laptop manufacturer to be sure. First says he's seen more and more laptop designs embrace the Thunderbolt 3 external graphics standard particularly in the months since Intel's 7th-gen CPUs came out. Razer Blade Stealth, 13-inch, 2017, the 13-inch Razer Blade Stealth, next to a MacBook Pro. Both now offer quad-core Intel processors. Sarah 2 CNET. And of course, Razer is hoping you'll buy its own Blade Stealth, particularly now the company's announced a quad-core version of the 13-incher. One which first says actually gets an hour longer battery life than the dual core we reviewed last month. He says the 8th gen Intel quad core chip makes a noticeable difference in gaming performance with the Razer Core. We're hoping to test that soon. Here are all the GPUs that work with the Razer Core, according to the company NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 1080T. NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 1080. NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 1070 NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 1060 NVIDIA Jeffers GTX Titan X NVIDIA Jeffers GTX Titan XP NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 980T NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 980 NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 970 NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 960 NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 950 NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 750T NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 750 NVIDIA Quadro P4000 NVIDIA Quadro P5000 NVIDIA Quadro P6000 NVIDIA Quadro GP100 AMD Radeon RX 500 Series AMD Radeon RX 400 Series AMD Radeon R9 Fury AMD Radeon R9 Nano AMD Radeon R9 300 Series AMD Radeon R9 290X AMD Radeon R9 290 AMD Radeon R9 285 It's worth noting new support for NVIDIA's Quadro Professional Grade GPUs, but also that the AMD Radeon Vega Series is currently lacking. Both the old and new Razer Core will support the same graphics cards today and into the future. 
The new quad-core razor blade stealth starts at $1,700 or £1,700 today at Razor's site, with no availability for Australia yet. Razor says the Core V2 will ship soon, but doesn't provide a specific date.